Hi, Taurus Sun and Rising. Welcome to your June 2024 Astro Update. It's Raina here. Well, this is going to be a great month for you money-wise because the Gemini energy falls in your second house of earned income. And, um, well, as I record this in the earlier part of May, Jupiter is poised to go into the sign of Gemini. And so as June um, begins, you have Jupiter in that second house already. And the sun is there too. And on the third, Mercury goes into Gemini. And Mercury is the mind. So you might be thinking about uh, ways to make money. There might be some ideas that you have or uh, maybe you're talking about money with somebody uh, to, you know, organize it, whatever, plan for it. And three days later, there's a new moon at 16 degrees of Gemini. And it's on the 6th of June, so it's a 6-6 portal. And because the number 6 is connected to Venus, Venus is your ruler, and Venus rules that second house. So it also rules the seventh house, which is committed partnership. So it could be, uh, I think for you, it is going to be more about money because you have these other influences there as well. And so um, maybe there is some new way that you're going to be earning money. Like, well, it could be in addition to what you're doing right now. Um and new strategies that you're going to be implementing. But Jupiter can be just something that blesses you with an increase in some way. And I have found, I you know, the second house is supposed to be the money that you earn. But in the last um, transit of it in the second house, because I have uh, Taurus rising, it actually was a gift of money. So... Um, even if you don't earn it, yes, I do believe that Jupiter in the second can be receiving money from an outside source that you didn't work for. On the ninth, your ruler, I mean, um, Mars goes into your sign um, and that will give you a lot of get up and go because Mars is very active. So that could be good for anything where you need extra energy. Um, especially if you have some kind of game plan of how you want to make more money, you might be, um, really involved in, in different, uh, endeavors. It can also give you more confidence. It can sometimes make somebody, uh, more cocky. So they're, they're kind of like arrogant, arrogantly confident, but, um, I think overall it can have a very positive effect. On the 17th, both Venus and Mercury go into Cancer, which is a friendly angle to you called the sextile. And um, what could be happening is, this is your, your third house, so this can mean that you are getting some kind of money from, Mercury is the ruler of the third in astrology, so you could be getting some money from a communication project. If you are a YouTuber or you have a blog or something like that, third house can be social media, online stuff. Uh, Venus can be money. And so there could be something along those lines. If you ha have signed up for some kind of an online dating service, because um, Mercury in the third, you could be talking maybe more than usual, and Venus can be love. So that's how I came up with that one. And um, yeah, I would say anything to do with teaching. If you have siblings, um, Venus can be harmonious. And maybe um, you're talking to a sibling in a way that you haven't talked to them before, where there's more um, you know, I was going to say politeness. If you've always had a contentious relationship with someone, um, this can certainly make things a lot better. 
And then on the 20th, there's going to be more of this energy because we have the summer solstice here or winter solstice down under. So, yeah, I mean, this is an area that this is your mind. So you may be improving your mind in some way through some sort of training and you're concentrating on that school or you're, if you're a teacher, you could be, oh, maybe it's summer school for some people. Yeah, that's a possibility. Um, yeah, I'm thinking though with that Venus that it can be like a, an art, a creative writing could be a thing too. Definitely. On the 21st, which is the day after the solstice, we have a full moon, which is, wow, that's going to be a very potent couple of days and probably, you know, surrounding those days. And this is at one degree of Capricorn fellow earth sign. So, you know, trine, trining you from the ninth house. Um, this may have more of a spiritual uh, connotation for you because, um, the ninth house is the God house and the full moon can bring some kind of a download it can be very intuitive where you understand. Well, also your philosophical framework, which is the ninth house. So what is the meaning of your life? Taurus people tend to be, I, I always say Taurus is meat and potatoes. You know what I mean? It's very, uh, and I don't use that term lightly because I'm a vegetarian anyway. But just kind of basic and not in a bad way. It's, it's a way of like, you know, down to earth. But the thing is that you're not just this body. You know, you're, you're a spiritual being having a human experience, at least in my view of things. So there is that spiritual component and you may be understanding that more and more. And this kind of full moon can bring awareness to things other than the 3d reality of keeping the body alive and just going through the motions of doing that but also this is the house of academia you know college so if you're graduating college certainly june is a time when there are a lot of college graduates. Maybe you finally have finished or you decide to drop out. You say, you say, this isn't for me. That could be it as well. On the 29th, uh, another friendly angle, a sextile. Um, Saturn is retrograding at 19 degrees of Pisces. This is occurring in your 11th house of um, friendships and groups and also your um, what we call it, your gains from your business so this can be I mean when Saturn is in the 11th house it may seem restrictive because Saturn can restrict things but it all it can plan it can set up your future I mean Saturn is only in Pisces for several years and we've already done one year of this one year plus so we're looking at another year or so of uh this type of thing so sometime i and i actually think i heard about this sometime in 2025 saturn and pisces are going into aries if i'm not mistaken but um the other thing that can happen here is that um, if this is related to social situations is that when Saturn is in your 11th house you may be paring down your social interactions uh, or you know connections with people and so if you you know have friends and they it's also like scrutinizing these people in your life, like, how do they benefit me? Are they draining me? You know, are these people, um, somehow taking away from my ability to do what I need to do? 
But uh, when Saturn goes retrograde, you're kind of looking at yourself. It's like doing soul searching. What kind of a friend am I to people? I'm always like, you know, evaluating them, but what about me? And that can help you to decide whether or not you want to continue doing what you're doing because you may realize, you know what, I really need to step up my game here. This is also the house of hopes and wishes. And so this can, um, you know, the, when Saturn is direct, you can really ground your dreams into reality. When Saturn is retrograding, it forces you to look at what you're dreaming about. And, you know, how does that really uh, matter in the grand scheme of things in terms of, or you could even say in the future, because Saturn is all about the long haul. And and also how you personally fit, factor into this, not just how outer events factor, but, you know, what are you doing? You know, what kind of discipline are you employing? Okay, that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, I'm promoting my double astrology readings, call my deep dive readings, at least an hour of natal chart analysis and an hour of transits for the upcoming 12 months, which for um, Taurians, because we just had a new moon yesterday, that can be very relevant. So uh, keep that in mind. And um, yeah, I have love readings, career readings, tarot readings. You can check out my link below for more information on my offerings. Thanks for listening. Have a great month. Bye.